I don't think it's possible to overstate how important the stuff we're talking about in terms of stereotypes and culture is, because it really is the root of the leadership gap we face. There's a huge leadership gap. You know, women are running 13 of almost 200 countries, 23% of parliament seats around the world, less than 6% 6 of, of CEO jobs. And here's why. Men in the audience, men only, please raise your hand if someone told you you were bossy as a little boy. <laughs> Women in the audience, please raise your hand if someone told you you were bossy as a little girl. <laughs> That's why. That is why men are leading and women aren't. And that culture, as Zainab, my dear friend, said, is true all over the world. What Fimzili said, this is true all over. With these huge, vast differences on women, the bias against leadership is real, and it's in every country in the world. And so until we change the culture, we can't solve the problem. So the next question is, how do you change the culture? And that's where I really want to applaud Keith and Unilever and Paul Pullman, because Advertising is actually how we're going to change the culture. So if you look at the numbers, you look at the best-selling movie, the best-viewed movie, the best-selling book, whatever it is, the numbers are small. You look at the average ad that Unilever puts into the market, and you'll see tens of millions to 100 million people seeing it to 1.2 billion. And marketing messages are a huge, huge lever on the culture, and they're actually by far the most frequent thing. So when I think we worked with Keith and others to create the Glass Lions Award, my foundation did Lean In and Facebook, which was awarding at Cannes, which is the big marketing uh, event of the year in Europe, the best ad that was breaking down stereotypes for women. And so if we want to solve the big problem of leadership, it's actually going to be how we sell our products that solves it. And so when you mm -hmm. look at you know, our Glass Lion winner from last year, which was their ad, the ad you talked about, taking tea and making it about transgender, you look at what Dove has done, Dove led. Dove started this long before anyone else on Real Beauty decades ago. And now when they're doing My Beauty, My Say, breaking down how women are changed, this is going to change the culture. And there is a direct line from this to the leadership gap we face in Davos and in our companies and countries all over the world. And so um, I think what has to happen is that businesses have to decide this isn't only the right thing to do, but the smart thing to do. Because the other thing that's happening with Unilever and so many of the marketers we see here is what they're figuring out is it's not just that they're doing the right thing for gender equality, they're actually selling their products this way. Because 80% of consumer decisions are made by women, yet 90% of women say brands don't understand them. Because 52% of women will say that they will buy products when they're marketed in the right way, and that is for equality. And so if we can convince companies to follow these amazing examples here and do this not just because it will help with the leadership app and break down stereotypes and change the unconscious bias, but because it will sell their products, that's where we're going to win. Oh.